Hello, I'm Alex Nitzberg, and welcome to the revamped Alex Nitzberg Show. Today I'm going to talk about the Florida governor's race. Democratic Representative Charlie Crist won the Florida Democratic gubernatorial primary on Tuesday, so he'll be facing off against incumbent Republican Governor Ron DeSantis during the general election later this year. DeSantis previously served in the U.S. House of Representatives, and he was elected to become the governor of the Sunshine State in 2018. He entered office in 2019, and he has become an extremely popular figure on the political right. Some people think that he will eventually run for president, though he himself has not specifically announced any plans to run for president. Christ said that he does not want the votes of DeSantis supporters, and he basically said that DeSantis supporters have hate in their hearts. Here's the clip. Those who support the governor should stay with him and vote for him, and I don't want your vote. If you have that hate in your heart, keep it there. I want the vote of the people of Florida who care about our state. Good Democrats, good independents, good Republicans. Unify with this ticket. Unify with Val Demings and Charlie Crist. Unify with us. Those who are haters, you're going to go off in your own world. And you better get right. He's also basically tweeted that hate will lose and love will win. And he also said during an appearance on MSNBC that DeSantis is fighting on a battlefield of hate. But Chris said, I'm on a battlefield of love. Here's that clip. Congressman Chris, this is Eddie Glaude. I, I got a sense of how you're going to, to, to fight uh, Governor DeSantis, but, you know, he's, he's a cultural warrior. He's going to fight on that terrain. He, he mobilizes and, and ex exaggerates grievance and mm -hmm. resentment. How are you going to fight on that terrain, given his critique of critical race theory, given the don't say gay stuff, all the stuff that he's been doing? How are you going to battle on the cultural war battlefield, as it were? Eddie, that's a brilliant question. He is on the battlefield of hate. I am on the battlefield of love. There's faith, hope, and love. And the greatest of these is love. It's in Corinthians, in the Bible. I'm going to beat him because I'm running on love, and love always wins. And if he wants to run on hate and culture wars and dividing people and making people hate each other, that's his turf. It's not mine. I'm on a different plane. I'm on a different turf, and it's what Floridians deserve. You know, he's torn my state apart, and Florida's beautiful, as everybody knows. I want to bring her back together. That's what this campaign is about, hate versus love. His hate, our love, God's love. So for those of you who aren't familiar with Charlie Chris, let me give you a rundown of his peculiar political pedigree. He ran for office as a Republican and was elected governor. He entered office in 2007 and served from 2007 to 2011 as governor of Florida. Now, he was elected as a Republican, but it, while he was still in office in 2010, he ran for U.S. Senate. He lost that election to Marco Rubio while running as an independent. Then, later, he ran for office, ran for the uh, 2014 gubernatorial election in Florida, and he lost that contest to incumbent Governor Rick Scott, but this time he lost the 2014 election as a Democrat. And then he's been serving in the U.S. House of Representatives, I believe, since 2017 as a Democrat. Chris has announced his running mate, a woman who's actually the president of a left-wing teachers union. For those of you who aren't aware already, I actually live in the state of Florida. So thank you for watching. Please let me know if there are other topics you'd like me to cover in the future, people you think I should interview. I'm playing the posties on Rumble and probably podcasting platforms for all people who just want to listen to audio. Let me know if you'd like me to post it on YouTube as well. I may or may not do that. Odds are that eventually I'm going to be covering issues that would get me censored on YouTube and Rumble won't censor me. But I actually listen to stuff on YouTube myself, so a lot of you might as well. So let me know if you'd like me to post these on YouTube as well as Rumble and audio podcasting platforms. Bye-bye.